I did survive on Scrappy Mania and I have a video haul and I went to Tuesday morning. So I wanted to show you what they have there, before, you know, in case you, you're looking for these products and they're pretty economical. And I want to apologize ahead of time of the mess. I'm making little cups. There is an event at um, my church and actually I need more glue on this one. But there's an event at church that I'm creating these little cups. Let me show you. And I do have a video in where I show you how to take a template um, that has been cut out and use your scan and cut to cut out the, the, the template so that way you can use it for um, creating your cups. So that will be uploaded shortly. But um, so I wanted to, so that's why it's kind of messy here because I'm trying to make all this up I need to do it before July 14th that's when we are having our tea party so I'm making little tea party souvenirs to put in there and each one will have it in their little plate on their table so um I wanted to show you what be so, so I so let me show you what I got at Tuesday morning I got these pearls at Tuesday morning they were 20% off which wasn't too bad it came out to $1.99 and these are actually real pearls, but they're dyed pearls, which is okay for fashion jewelry. The, the way to figure out if you do have real pearls, pearls or if they're fake pearls is that you rub them together. And if you feel like they're, they're a little not smooth, you know, it's not like glass against glass. You do feel some roughness. That means there are, there are pearls. So it's not completely smooth. It is rough, um, but these are not high quality. It's more than likely they're B. So pearls are graded by triple A, double A, A plus, B. I think these are more like B. They're not the greatest, but they're pretty nice for jewelry. And for $1.99, I do like it. So I'm going to make something with that. The other thing that I got for $3.99 was this beautiful stamp. I really like the bird and the nest. And I think it's going to look very lovely with thank you, praying for you, and things like that. So I, that's why I bought this. And $3.99 for me is not a bad, I, bad price for a stamp for cards. What I really wanted to show you is these DIY Party from We Are Memory. I've been eyeing these for a while, but they're 20 bucks. And I didn't, and especially um, even if you use a coupon, a 40% or even a 60% coupon, it still will come up there. I mean, it, it's not that bad, but I really didn't see myself spending 12 bucks for each of these punches. But when you see it at Tuesday morning for $5, it's hard to pass, to ha pass them by. So this one I bought, it's a glow punch. And as you can see, it looks like you can buy lights. And then punch these out and put the lights in the globe, in, in that little globe, and then um, string it. And I think this will be really nice for outside for the patio. So you can cut a bunch of these out of like um, vellum. And then you can string lights on your patio, outside patio. And um, it will be a nice little little effect. So I think I'm going to start do this for 4th of July. Might be a good little decoration for the outside. So I'm going to test this one out so that way you can see it. Let's We'll put one together and see how it comes out. So let me put that one aside. Actually, I should test all these out for you. And then this one is uh, $4.99. is a garden garland punch, again, for parties. Very nice. With just your papers, you're done. Then this is makes rosette. So what you have to do is you have to score the paper first. And then you line up the line there's a line here alignment so you line up the the line of your um emboss line and then um the first line you line it up with the first emboss line punch and then skip the second emboss line and then line it with the second one like you see here and and punch and then you keep doing that all until you go all the way around your rosette I like this and you can make really big rosettes, small rosettes. So this one is nice. I've been eyeing that for this one for a while. I just didn't want to spend the $20 for it. And then this one 
is confetti. Now they did have the confetti one in there and I didn't want to buy that because I did buy the confetti dye from Prima. So I didn't want to buy something else. But I did buy this one because I like these little these sprinkles. These are called sprinkles. And um, you can mix this up with the confetti, with the round ones or the square ones or the heart ones, whatever you confetti you have. You can mix this up and it will be nice. So let me open. Let me go ahead and put these aside here. I'm really, really, really interested in this one. Oh, and I forgot. I got one of these. This is a Heidi Swap. It comes with a stencil. It comes with three stencils, actually, for $1.99. Not buy. And, you know, people give out the SKU number. So let me give out the SKU number. I don't know if that's, that's significant. So for this item, the SKU number is 2004. 141 for this one. If you like the garland is 2004068. If you like the rosette is 2004066. The sprinkle if that's one that you want to get is 2004064. If you want this stamp is 1948174. If you like these beads, these are 1900356. However, I got this in the clearance aisle. See the sticker? So you may not have these. These are going on clearance. So more than likely you're not going to find these maybe. It's in my local store that I found it. And then this one, the glow punch, is 200465. Let me put my glasses on. Six. Six. Two zero zero four zero six six. And if it's not six six, then six five. I can hardly tell what it is. Okay, let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, let's take this out. The instructions. I always save the instructions. Okay, you need a paper cut at four and seven and a half. So let's go ahead and get a piece of paper. So here's my piece of paper. So we're going to cut this at four. Let's do seven and a half first. And then four inches. Seven and a half and four inches. I'll bring my punch over and then you want to align the edge. There's an alignment symbol there. You're going to align the edge to the line right there. Let me get a marker so you can see it a little better. There's a little line right there. Okay. So there, there's a little line right there. You're gonna line it to that. Do a line and punch. And then align the 
Align the edge of the paper with recess groove and punch. Align the punch paper with the raised V on the base of the punch. So use the raised B. So it kind of holds it right there. Let me bring it back. So you have a raise. I hope you can see that. See, it's kind of raised. So it fits just perfect right there. And punch. Continue along the width of the paper. So again, it's going to align to that V. Punch. I think I did it wrong. Yes, we did it wrong. So it's seven. So this should be four. <laughs> so the width is four. Let's do this again. Sorry about that. So the width is four inches. The length is seven and a half. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Four by seven and a half. So this is four by seven and a half. Oh, I see it. I did something wrong. You have a, a guide here and you have a guide here. So I meant this is. You probably, the instructions are not that clear, so let me do it again. You can align the seven and a half side to this first alignment groove. Punch. Then you're going to go over to the next alignment groove right there. Right here. There's a little lip. So go to that next alignment groove right there. Then you're going to go over to this alignment and punch and then continue on punching. It's a good thing I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing this so you don't have to worry. Okay. So you'll have a perfect cut. Then you're going to Turn it 180 degrees and you're going to repeat the same step. So you're going to align this edge of your paper. Then you're going to align that edge with the next edge. Then you're going to bring this over to this guide right here. Okay, now you're going to go ahead and let's just put it together. So this goes here, and let's just bend it a little. I'm just bending it to make it easy. Okay. This goes in there. This so this one hooks into this one. Hold it. This one hooks into here. I guess you keep hooking it. And then this one hooks into here. And then this one hooks underneath it. And then this one hooks underneath that. 
and then this one hooks underneath that one. You have something like that. Okay. Now we'll do the same thing here. And you want to use good paper. This paper, it's very flimsy. I think it will look very nice if we use vellum. Because the vellum again with the lights will be very pretty. So I'm just hooking it underneath, as you can see. I'm just hooking it underneath. There you go. And then you can open it. See, you can put your... Before you hook it all the way all in, you can insert it. And I'm just pushing it so that way it opens up a little bit and makes that little globe. So that's pretty. You don't even need to put lights. You can actually put a little string and attach it and just put this around the out, outside. But it will look very nice with some candles. Not candles. They have those electronic candles. That might work also. You can put an electronic tea candle in it and then hang it. That will be cute. Or Christmas lights. They have Christmas lights on the um so you at the end you're going to put the christmas lights in before or the lights in before you finish it up and they recommend that you do LED because they don't get hot if you try to use some bulbs might burn through the paper so you want to be careful with the type of bulb you put on here so that's this one i really really like it it's cute I may want to cut this here and there. That's pretty nifty. So let's see what else I want to show you. Let's go ahead and look at this one. We'll make a small rosette with this one. Even this one will work. So let's repurpose this one. And it's just demo. I just want to show you how they work in case you decide you want to get these. So just a strip seven and a half by two inches is what I have here. So let's go ahead and do our scores before we do anything else. So I'm going to bring it here. And I'm going to do one every quarter of an inch. So let's go get the instructions. You do it half an inch. It's actually half an inch to one inch. So we need half an inch. Oh, it's just half an inch. To one inch. So we're going to do this one half an inch. So here's my score lines. And I'm going to pre score it just because I cannot really see it very well with this paper. Even though I have my glasses on, I'm not seeing it. I like the I like the We Are Memory punches. I, I'm a hoarder with those punches. And when I saw these for $4.99, I could not resist. So the instruction is you're going to punch on the first line. So this is the first line, fold line. You're going to line it to, again, let me go ahead and get a, a marker so you can see where I'm at, right there. So you're going to line this line to that first. And it may be too small. Yeah, this is too small. We need a bigger one. So let's get 
this one I'm gonna cut it in half I apologize for this is at lib not um, quality video but I apologize I just want to show you if it, how it works so now that I have two pieces I can do one at half an inch So that's half an inch, and then let's do one for one inch. Oops, 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 oops sorry. Okay. So let's go ahead and fold this one. So that way I can see it. And we have a little extra, so that will help with gluing it together. Now let's do the one inch first. So you're going to align the first core line. Hopefully I got it right. So there's an alignment guy right there. And you're going to align it to that guide and punch down. Then you're going to align the second one. Oh, every other. So that's one. So you're going to do this one, skip this one, the third one right here. And then skip this one and do the next one. And then skip this one and do this one. And you get that, and then you can put it together. And there's your crown oral set. That's a pretty, you know, that's even pretty like that. Cut it and use it for a border. You need a bigger piece of paper. Probably start with a 12 inch. But then I'm going to go ahead and do this one. So we're going to align our first piece. So this is a half an inch. Skipped one fold and go to the next one. Skip one fold and go to the next one. Skip one fold and go to the next one. Skip one fold and go to the next one. I'm not doing such a good job on this one. This one's a harder punch, I think, to use. I don't think I'm doing it right. So I'm aligning that. And then this is a fold, and I'm aligning to the second fold. 
Okay, that's better. Yeah, I wasn't aligning it well, but you just you can see how it works. I think it worked fine. I'm um, gonna have to practice more with these and see these you can even use it for leaves. So I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. Bye now.